everyone, it's Nay and welcome to my update for my Beauty A to Z project pack. Um, I actually thought I recorded this on Monday and I think I got to my Y product or my Z product. I realised I hadn't actually been taping, I actually pushed the timer button instead of the record button. And I was kind of rushing to get to an appointment anyway. So this is kind of take two about three days later. Um, as it turns out, I've got one piece of good news that's come from it and one piece of bad news um, that are little updates from where I was on Monday. So anyway... Um, this project um, is a Fantastic Ladies collab. It's been around for a number of years. Um, uh, so let's get to it. For A, um, I've got the Avon Glimmer Sticks in Mocha Flash. Be nice to get this one finished this year, but it's looking unlikely. Uh, currently at 0.7 centimetres. Started off in January at 0.8 so I have used about a millimetre of it but with seven still to go it doesn't look like it's going to happen this year which is a little bit disappointing um, but it is what it is and I do use this one probably once or twice a week um, probably on average um, there's probably some week so I use it three, four, maybe five times a week and sometimes I use it once. Uh, for B, I've got the Blushette in the colour Barbara Ann MAC. This one I'm currently measuring at 1.1 centimetres. Um, started off in January at 1.2. Uh, weight wise the scales that I'm using at the moment are saying 19 grams, but I can't find my little pocket uh, accurate ones. So um, it looks like I've probably used somewhere around about a gram. But because um, I started off the year at 20.04, but um, those scales aren't exactly accurate. Alright, for C, I've got the Cuddly Cream Puff Lip Balm, which is the one with the little panda hat head on it. I actually think I may have lost that one today. I got to work this morning, parked the car, sat in the car and did my makeup as I usually do. It fell out my pocket in the car. I picked it up. I thought I'd put it back in my pocket. I remember getting out the car at a weird angle because I park, had to park on a hill and going oh gosh and listening for the sound of something falling out my pocket which didn't happen um, I remember I got out the car and my eye started running so I got a tissue out my pocket and I then later in the day sort of mid morning I went to use the lip balm and it wasn't in my pocket so it may have been lost in my car. I did go out and have a look tonight, but it was pretty dark out there, so I am planning on having another scowl tomorrow. It could be somewhere at work. It could be somewhere between my car and work. So I'm really disappointed, but it looks like there is a good chance that I've actually lost that. In my update that I filmed on Monday, I actually basically declared it done. It was to the point where it was below the plastic. So, you know, like any sort of lippy type wind up product, such as my blush it. You know, you have your plastic. Yes, there's product under there, but, you know, it's not really accessible. So, I'd, Monday I declared that for all intents and purposes for the project it was done, even though I was going to try and continue, I was going to scrape it out, maybe mix it with this other eucalypt lip balm thing I've got that I don't like very much. 
I was intending to use up the product that was left somehow, some way, but for the project I was going to consider it done. So it's a little bit disappointing that I don't have it here to show you that. I'm going to continue to see if I can't find it in my car. It might be back at work when I get back there and I've got the next week off. It may have been that it's out basically where I park my car or somewhere between there and work, in which case I'll probably never see it again. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate, but there you go. Uh, for D, I had the diff dramatically different moisturising lotion uh, from Clinique. I can't find that one at the moment. I would have had it sitting somewhere upside down, trying to get the last bit of it out. I think I may have even had it sitting in some warm water just to see if I couldn't get the last bit out, because it was in um, quite a square bottle, and it was getting stuck on the ledge. Again, for all intents and purposes for this pan, for this project, it's ba it was basically done. Um, I would have had to have probably got something in there to scrape out the last bit. It may have had a use or two if I'd been able to get it out. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to call that one done as well. Again, if I find it, I will somehow try and attack the product that's in there to use it. Maybe with a cotton bud or something. But yeah, we'll see how we we'll see if we find it. Otherwise, I'm considering it done. Um, okay. The next one that I've got to talk about is F for Fantasia. Um, this is a MAC lipstick, looking like that. Um, my goal is that when I hold it up, I get down to that line on the green A there. Pardon me. I'm currently sitting just under that yellow, that same line on the yellow A. Like that. Um, so I do still have a little bit to go on this one. I think I was at, at the top of the A at the beginning of this project. So I have made some uh, progress on it. Currently I'm measuring it at 18 grams or 1.3 centimetres. Um, in January I was measuring at 1.4. Um, I don't think I wrote down what the goal was in centimetres um, and as far as weight goes it started off at 18.98 uh, grams so it looks like I've used a little bit of it um, though without those scales it's a bit hard to tell exactly how much sorry I'm really sniffly tonight um, okay for G Got the Avon Glimmer Sticks uh, eyeliner in Burgundy Shop. Currently, we're at 0.7 centimeters. Started off at 0.7 in January. Have used this one a few times, but not an awful lot. Scales are saying 4 grams. Started off at 4.21. Um, yeah, I have used it a couple of times though not an awful lot and both this and the other one are fairly old so they are reasonably stiff um, which isn't conducive to good project panning uh, for H I've got the Happy Boost Booster Blush from, oh gosh, from Physicians Formula and that's what we're looking like at the moment um, Currently it looks like it's weighing about 42 grams, which is nothing particularly astounding. But it is quite thin. Um, and I don't know if we're going to be able to pick it up. But we have got this little bit of pan peeking through. Down in there. That's sort of where my fingernail is. Um, so there's definitely some movement on it, I've quite flattened and uh, taken down this side here, taken down 
the edge over there I'm trying to work on the edge down here um, yeah I'm still reasonably confident that I can get this oh there we go there's that pan just needed to move it that way um, down there um, so yeah it's really quite thin um, I can't see why it wouldn't be done by the end of this year there's that pan hello pan um, yeah looking forward to getting this done um, yeah it's quite thin it's um, not particularly well pressed down there I'm going to have it done this year how exciting is that alright I in the gallery quad the mac on the old packaging trying to expand the pan in this one out to the edge it's been a little bit of movement um, I reckon there's about 0.6 centimeters from the edge of where the dip is at, like where the pan in the middle is and the edge of the actual pan is um, yeah I think I can get that goal met this year um, as you can see all the shades have pan in it I have been working on this for ages um, have thrown in a couple of different products this year on top of other ones that I've been using in the last couple of years but um, yeah at least getting to the edge on that one would be nice this year okay Jay the Just Unforgettable Body Spray from Avon. I don't know how it's going away. Um, so I started the year at this line here, which was about the 7 on the barcode. Can't really tell because it's not sitting flat. But I am currently at the bottom one. So from the 7 to the 1, um, not that you can really tell, that's about, seems to be about parallel, about, uh, yep, um, about there is actually at 90 degrees, or at, sorry, par par parallel to the surface of the table, so actually sitting straight. Um, so yeah, I have made some usage on this one, currently about 110 grams. Um, I put something about 2.1 centimetres back a couple of months ago, which I'm thinking from there is to the bottom of this label here. I'm now one and a half centimetres from the bottom of the label to where I am. So it looks like I've used about 0.6 centimetres. Um, and yeah. Obviously I'm hitting the wider part of the bottle. For, so from here on in it's going to be trickier for the next little bit. Pretty much until it's done. Uh, we're up to K. Okay. The Dew Kiss Lip Balm from Avon in Plum Tart. This one probably not going to see any usage on because I had an old baby lips tinted lip balm in Pink Shop that I scraped out and some of it I put into another different lip balm. Some of it I chucked in there. Um, so that sort of slowed this one down and um, it's weighing at 8 grams started off at 9.34 um, I think I've said 1.8 centimeters on this one now um, but yeah it did have some other products sitting in there for a while and you can sort of see it that that color on the side of the tubes from the other product as well so hopefully I've now started me, using the actual enough of this product to counter uh, counteract the weight that I was that I added in 
Um, but now that other one is gone, I can start actually focusing in on this, which is what I've been doing for about the last week now. Uh, for Elf, I had the Love and Light Hand Cream from Lush. And this guy's done. It is empty. Another product done that I... And on this one I can actually show you that it is done. Um, so I used up the last couple of grams that were left. Um, when I weighed this in April, it was 22 grams. Before that, in March, it was 28. And I marked it was done on the 18th of April. So... It's nice to actually have something done and apparently now I can get a dollar off at Lush with a black pot instead of just using five of them for a face mask starting next week I think so I'm pretty excited about that because I have an absolute ton of these that I was holding on to in case I ever wanted a face mask and I never wanted a face mask so now apparently I'm gonna get a dollar off I think it would count on that one because they do, they do do 45 gram products, so yay. It was only three and a half years past the Spiffy before date. It's actually not too bad for me. Um, I'd sort of forgotten I had it. It's so strong. The scent is so strong. It was called Love and Light. There's nothing light about it. But really quite nice anyway. Um, M, Maple Taffy Lip Balm from Lush. When I weigh it, it's saying it's 4 grams. Apparently it started off at 7.37. As you can see, all the product that left is around the edges and I've been sort of scrapping it down from the edges. Um, I haven't been using lip balms that I have to dip my fingers into too, too much. Um... But when I do think about it, and I'm sure that I've got clean fingers, so, you know, if I've eaten or just gone to the toilet and washed my hands, and I think about it, uh, I'm looking for a lip balm, I'll go to this one. I used it a couple of times today after I couldn't find my other one. Um, can't see why it shouldn't be done by the end of the year. If I remember that it's there, and to use it appropriately. For N, I've got the NARS Fort de France highlighter. It's not too bad. Um, I've got an awful lot of side exposed on this guy. Oh, it keeps getting in the light. Let me do that better. Yeah, like that. So yeah, a lot of side down there exposed, but I don't seem to have actually hit the bottom pan yet which is my goal um i don't know how much deeper this can possibly be so yeah i'd still anticipate getting pan on it this year um i've certainly taken a great big old chunk of it out um yeah, I think I think it can happen this year. I can't see why not. I don't think it can be all that much deeper. I really don't. Though I do tend to use this one more in summer. I just don't think it's going to take me that much longer, hopefully. Number of uses wise. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. P. P. Uh, Pied de Pepper Foot Cream. Got the teeniest, tiniest bit of left of this. Can you see it? No, you really can't. There you go. I don't want to go spilling it again. You can see how little is in there. There you go, you can, it's not the greatest, but you can see that there's really not much in there. 
Um, it's weighing at 26 grams at the moment. Start off at 92. So I have used a ton of this. The tiniest bit left. I'm like 99% sure that this will be gone by the next update. Whenever that happens to be. I'm thinking four, maybe five uses. Maybe. I don't think there'd be anything more than that in there. Um, looking forward to getting this one out because it's uh, separated and it's been a pain. But I persist. Q. Vanilla Court Skin Perfector from Becca. Now, this one on Monday, I thought, geez, I must be getting close to hitting pan. And then today, there we go, you can just see tiny, three tiny little specks of pan down there. Um, bearing in mind this has been repressed a few times. See how thin it is in the pan, you can see how much of the pan on the side. Yep, okay. Um, so I'm hoping, actually there's more, there's about five different little specks of pan throwing showing through there um yes yeah, so, well if nothing else by the next update you'll see some actual proper decent pan but yes i only i only did that today it wasn't there on monday and i'm not gonna pick it up again that's annoying um yeah so there should be some nice proper pan there next update um, give me a really good idea about how much longer it's going to take me to use this. Um, my goal is to have it done by the end of the year and I can't see why that should be a problem. And now that I've got that pen, again, um, just makes me feel confident that it's definitely going to happen. Ah, uh, I had the Baron Rose lipstick from MAC. I haven't used this one much recently actually. Uh, what's it saying? It's saying 18 grams at the moment on the scales I'm using start at 19.74. So you can believe that 18 grams is probably a big pile of stinking crap. Um, still looks like it's 1.9 centimetres which is what it was when I measured it in April and I don't appear to have anything earlier than that I guess because when I started this project, I had scales that I was weighing everything that were somewhat accurate. Um, yeah. Let's see how we go with that. Uh, it's Smooth Minerals Eyeshadow Pencil in the colour Pebble. Uh, currently weighing at 2 grams. Started off at 4.09. Yeah, maybe. Um, what I can tell you is that I have used around about 0.8 centimeters of this this year. Um, from what I had it recorded at the beginning of the year, otherwise, about point three centimeters from I don't know when I wrote down a measurement here with no date maybe April I don't know but it is going I'm getting closer and closer to at least having the lid coming over the edge of this brown thing here um, so yeah that's my first goal this year is to get it to there um, be nice to get it finished but I can't really see it happening um, though I could just about do with another sharpen probably use it once more and then sharpen it maybe maybe twice more and then sharpen it depending on how much I use it okay for tip got the true color skin goodness CC cream from Avon have actually been using this one a bit when I weighed it back on the third it was 28 grams 
started off at 33.78 so that one doesn't seem too bad to me the numbers seem to be going down somewhat evenly so it looks like I've used about 5 grams of that so far this year it's a 25 gram tube um, and I was using other stuff up at the beginning of the year and only really just started on this one recently so I do think I still have a chance of having this one done by the end of the year alright, sorry about that, I had to cough you, ultra bar mush I definitely think that I'm starting to see possibly the bottom of that tin showing through on those edges maybe and I actually think that that's really the first time tonight that I've actually seen that I'm sure when I looked on Monday no, maybe it's just a trick of the light um, anyway this guy is apparently 16 grams which is what it's been for a while so apparently it started at 21.4 maybe that was with the lid I don't know um, I do use it heaps the ring around the outside where I've been working my finger around it's definitely getting more pronounced um, may not have it done by the end of the year I think that might be pushing it but I am definitely using it um, probably a couple of times a night most nights maybe three or four times the got the seven day scrub from Clinique I think I might have used this once 68 grams started off about 73.76 um, and in March at 70 so yeah looks like I've used it a couple of times in the last couple of months um, if I actually concentrated on it I c could get it done but I've got a lush one that I like more and then I tend to go for that one if I don't need something really to remove my makeup and I only tend to use that if I'm using like a soap rather than a cleanser anyway moving on W wipes these are thinner wipes currently weighing 15 grams in April it was 16 um, apparently it started at 30.58 um, and I said there was about 7 to 8 wipes I'm thinking 5 maybe 6 very hard to tell with these. Let's see how we go. X. I've got the Magix Face Perfector Primer from Avon. Currently 22 grams. Was 23 in April. So I've used about a gram in the last month. Um, I don't tend to use this if I'm wearing the CC cream. Um, so. I go through periods where I hardly use it. Um, should be able to get it done by the end of the year, though. I think it's a fairly big furrow down through the middle of it. You can sort of see product a bit on the outside, but yeah, I think I think I should be able to get that done by the end of the year. Hmm. Uh, for why I've got the NYX matte bronzer. Goal is to hit pan. I don't know this thing. It it always seems to look exactly the same. You can see the rings. The pan's got to be there somewhere. I just never seem to be getting any closer to it. it looks the same as it has for the last year. Um, there are these funny little, almost, I'm assuming they were air bubbles, pin pricks in there. Even through those, you can't see the pan, which is disappointing I, I don't know maybe one day I'll hit pan and it'll be in the middle and it'll surprise the hell out of me I don't know 
really don't know with this guy. Been used, it's pretty much the only bronzer I've been using for like years. No, I don't use it every day. I do use it. And yeah, I don't know. My goal was to hit pan last year. We're now in May. And I still don't know. Doesn't look any different to me. And without my more accurate scales, I'm going to have no way of knowing. I'm thinking that the, the weight at the beginning of the year might have been with the lid on and the lid's broken and maybe the 22's without. Oh, sorry, 40. It's now 46 grams. It was 47 in April, apparently. And 48 at the beginning of the year. Who knew? There you go. Be interesting if I find my scales again to weigh that again and see what it actually looks like it is. Anyway, moving on. Zed. Uh, Ibiza Party Shampoo. Uh, currently 112 grams. Started 117.54. Did use this a couple of times. Though I have got another shampoo that I'm mainly focusing on at the moment, which is about two thirds gone now so I'm hoping that I can get that one done and use this one or maybe even as it gets warmer again or something maybe I'll pull this one out I don't know um, I have used it a couple of times it's just as a bit of a change from the other one alright well, that was that. So, I had one definite goal met that I could show you. I had one definite goal met that I couldn't show you. I've got one that's so, 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 so close. Another one that I'm basically calling done. Um, that I can't find, but would be a matter of sticking a... Um, cotton chip in it and maybe getting another use from that was sitting somewhere that I was bashing to try and get it out that wasn't coming so what are we we are the 7th of May and I have bet 1, 2, 3 4 5 Five goals so far. Okay, so I'm about a fifth of the way there. P will be done, definitely. That's thinking about five uses and I can't see that being a problem. Probably about seven that are probably going to be definitely no's. Probably going to be definitely no's. Okay. Probably going to be definitely no's. Highly unlikely. So that gives me... How oh, does that give me? A good dozen that are possibilities. So there you go. Alright. Um... So, I will see you in the next update. Um, because that pie de pepper is so close, we might be able to squeeze out another one sooner rather than later. But at the same time, I don't see any point in doing updates if there's absolutely nothing to show. And until I find my scales, my new differences aren't going to count so 
is what it is, and I will see you next time. Bye.